Welcome back, Kiss Army, to another episode of We Are One. And I'm finally really now living my life, uh, you know, as an artist. I am an artist. Always was, always will be. I'm a, I'm a New York musician. I, I hate the word rock star. I don't use it. I don't consider myself one. I consider myself a really a, a musician. And uh, that's what it's all about, brother. And to, to, like, say, let me get a band and <laughs> let me go get these guys. I, I, it, it's not what it's about. But, I, you know, you may have something there. I think maybe you should ask Ace if he comes on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but when you want to be back together with Ace, like, you guys seem to be like buddies for a long time. Ace and I are very close. Yeah. And uh, I would do anything for him. And if he ever called me and wanted to play with me, I'm there. You know, so who knows? Hey, I'll never say never. So you never know. Well, speaking of Never Say Never, and in case you just tuned in, we've been talking with Peter Chris for the last uh, 90 minutes or so and having some great conversation here. Uh, let us now get to a question that I think is kind of interesting here. Uh, James in Hackensack, we're going to let him on because he's been holding to ask this very question. Go ahead, James. Pete, James. now would you ever consider, I don't want to, you know, upset you, but would you ever consider going back with Kiss? If the Under any circumstances. I would if Ace would. How, how do you like that one? Pretty heavy, huh? If the four of us sat in a room without all the BS, I mean, like we used to do, and it was really democratic that we had votes and everybody had a right to say this and that, I, I, yeah, I would think about it. You know, I really would. I mean, if it was the four of us and, and, and it was like the real guys, we really... The real kiss. The real kiss. So, you know, the real, the real deal. Uh, I would think about it. Sure, I would. Absolutely. My heart will always be there. I, I, I can't say, you know, the best of my years I gave to this band. Uh, why wouldn't I do it again? I love you guys. James, thanks for the call. Uh, Peter, I know that when, when Tommy first started subbing for Ace in the band, it was very important to Ace that he got a press release out and let people know that that was not him. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the fans that are hardcore fans are going to know that because they follow every move the band makes okay, every yeah. day. Mm -hmm. But uh, his thing was more of what they're trying to do, the more of the casual fan that doesn't know, like the kid I talked about at the pool in Vegas earlier that thought yeah. it was him. Mm -hmm. So he was very concerned that, you know, it, I, I think he, his attitude was, I wash my hands of those guys, whatever, but I do want people to know that that's not me up there even though they're going to dress somebody as me. Is that a concern of yours? Is that so, I mean, obviously doing this interview is going to get the word out to a lot of people, but is this something that you want to continue on? Is it something that's important you to let, to let people know through any media outlets that they can? Is it something that bothers you t on that level as well? Oh, it totally bothers me that there's somebody else in my makeup. Of course it does. It, but, but to let people, that, you, want to, you want to get the word out to people to let them know. In other words, you do realize that there are going to be maybe as much as 50% of an audience at these shows that they're going to do this summer right. that are going to be in the back and in the lawn of these places, 10,000 people back there, and, and a guy takes his family. And, you know, let's face it, I mean, I'm 40 years... I don't want to push it there yet. I'll be 40 in August. I'm 39. I want to say 30 as long as I can. But, but you know, people are older now that are KISS fans that grew up with KISS. The band's been around 30-plus years. Yeah. They're going to go. They're going to take their families. And maybe, you know, these guys have jobs. They have other things. It's not all that. And, you know, they don't keep up with the magazines and the gossip. They hear KISS. They see the logo. They see the image. Mm -hmm. They go to the show. Mm -hmm. And they think they're seeing Ace and Peter and it's KISS and they're back there on the lawn. Right. You know, that's the angle I'm trying. I mean, is it, is it important to you to get the word out to those people as well, to let them know, hey, I'm not in the band. Well, now that, you know, we've got the great computers and the great internet, and I have my own site, there, there's not a day won't go by that I, I don't put on my site, I'm not in the band anymore. It's not the real Catman. It, it, it's another guy up there in my makeup. I, that, that it, that's where we're going. Is that, is that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, but, but do you, do you have a plan to, to use other outlets to, to really, in other words, to not so much make this a crusade, but to really make sure you publicize it every chance you can that you're not out there so people know? Absolutely. So, of course. Yeah. Everything I do and breathe, I mean, that's, that's part of the cat is part of me. And, and to see him disrespected, it hurts. It, it hurts. It, yeah, of course I will. 